Hi, welcome to Adobe Illustrator CC 2021 Class Learn Book Chapter 4. This one's all about editing and combining shapes to create some dinosaur heads. So let's go ahead and go into our Adobe Illustrator. Let's do a file open. Go ahead and open those files that you've already downloaded and unzipped. So I'm going to go open. I'm going to go to my Lesson 4 folder. I'm going to go ahead and grab the one called L4 Start and push open. First thing I'm going to do is do a file save as. I'm going to change it to a first initial last name, underscore Adobe Illustrator, classroom in a book, chapter number four. Make sure it's in my lesson four folder right here and say save. And I've already got one there, so it's going to save over it. And we're going to push OK. Next thing we're going to do is go to our window and our workspace and reset essentials so we're all working from the same place. And that will go ahead and get us started. So in this one, we're going to go ahead and edit some paths and shapes. So let's go ahead and focus on this first artboard right here. Let's do a view, fit artboard in window. And our first shape we're going to work with is this triangle. So let's do a control plus and zoom in a couple times. Space bar in hand, zoom over. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is use our scissors tool. So our scissors tool is going to allow us to cut just part of the path. So let's go with our shape selected. Let's grab our selection tool, grab our shape. And now let's go over to our eraser tool underneath our eraser, which is about halfway down. You should find the one called scissors. So let's go ahead and grab the one called scissors. And now we're going to go ahead and we need to cut that path. So we're going to move our paint pointer over the top middle of the shape. It's going to say intersect. Where it says intersect, we're, intersect, we're going to go ahead and cut that path. We're going to click and hold and cut that path right there. So now we get a blue anchor box that's going to show us that that's where the path has been cut. So now to change it around, let's go to our toolbar, grab our direct selection tool. We're going to grab that anchor and go ahead and just pull up on each of those sides in order to change that into kind of more of a pen nib or a diamond-ish shape. So now you can see that we did cut the path. The stroke does not go all the way around. So we do want to make sure that we have a closed path so we can fill the whole area. So we need to join those paths. In order to do that, let's grab our selection tool over on the toolbar and let's click away from it. It is important to click away and then click back in. So let's click back in. So it's been reset. Let's go ahead to our properties panel, go to join. It's going to go ahead and complete that path for us. So let's go ahead and turn that stroke all the way off because we don't need it. So I'm going to go to my properties panel and just take that all the way down to zero. And let's do a control S and save what we've got so far. I'm not sure how it's been modified outside Illustrator, but okay. All right, let's go ahead and we're going to round out these top corners now. So we're going to go ahead and go to our direct selection tool. And we're going to do a selection around just those top two. So we know those are selected because they're both dark blue. We're going to grab that widget and go ahead and pull it all the way down until it turns red. And that's where we're going to make it kind of an arc. Exactly what we want. Let's do a select and a deselect and a control S to save. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is cut with the knife tool. So the knife tool is going to work a little bit differently. It is a more free hand. So let's go with our space bar in our hand, go ahead and scoot over to this green head bit. And what we're going to be doing is cutting a U out of this section here to create kind of a dark green shape in between. Kind of those, the horns are going to end up here eventually. All right, so let's go ahead to our space bar and our selection tool. Let's select that green shape. We're going to go ahead to our edit our toolbar. So go to our toolbar to the bottom, the little ellipses. And we want to make sure we've got the knife tool. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure I've got the knife tool. I've already dragged mine over. So what you're going to do is take that knife tool. And I'll undrag it and drag it back in. So I've got my knife. I'll drag it back out. All right, I'm going to drag it back in. I'm going to go ahead and put it under my eraser with my scissors so I can find it. So now I've got my knife tool. And let's go ahead and hit escape to hide that. Now with the knife selected, we're going to go ahead and drag a U shape into the head part. And it's going to be a little bit crooked. That's OK. Not everything is exactly perfect. We're going to go ahead and drag that. 
I don't love it. So let's do undo and try one more time. All right, I'm going to try and go more that way. All right, so now I have my U cut into my shape. I'm going to go ahead and do a select, deselect. And now I need to actually take my selection tool and I need to grab this shape that I just made at the top of his head. So let's take and fill that with a different color. So let's go over to our fill on the properties panel and choose kind of a dark green over here on our fourth row down in our custom colors. And fill that with dark green. Now let's go ahead and click out on our pasteboard to deselect and do control S to save. So now you're like, okay, that's awful. I hate how I can't draw a straight line. So how do I cut straight? You can cut straight with the knife tool. Um, we go ahead and with the selection tool, let's go ahead and choose that large green shape. And we're actually going to make kind of a triangle in here. So in order to do that, we want to turn our caps lock on in order to turn our pointer into with our knife. The pointer is now going to turn into little crosshairs instead of a pointer. It makes it a little bit easier to see. So with it, we're going to either hold Shift and Option for Mac or Alt and Shift for the windows. And we're going to drag all the way down to cut his head kind of in half. So I'm going to do uh, Alt and Shift because I'm on a PC and come all the way down. I'm going to let go of my mouse, then let go of my keys. So now I've now cut that in half. So now we want to go ahead and we're going to create kind of a triangle from here. So we're going to hold Option if you're on a Mac or Alt if you're on Windows. And we're going to drag another one at a slight angle down. So I'm going to grab my Alt and drag down until I meet this point right here. I'm going to go ahead and let go of my mouse, let go of my key. So now I've created kind of a triangle. So let's grab our selection tool. With our selection tool, we're going to go ahead and click in this path because we want to color that path a little bit color. So let's go ahead and grab our fill color. And in our filler color, let's go ahead and make it kind of a lighter green. So I've got a light green yellow. Got, what do I have down here? I'm going to go with my light. Oh, undo. Let's select out and now select back in. All right, now I want to do, okay, select out, select back in, select just that shape. All right, now I want to do my light green. All right, so now I've got, that looks kind of awful. Let's go ahead and try. That's the same color green as it is before. I'll try that one. That one's not terrible. All right, so now let's go ahead and drag across all, with our selection tool, drag across all of our shapes. Because we're going to go ahead and group them, make them one thing. So we're going to go to our quick actions down here on our properties and hit group. So now I have one single object. And let's go ahead and turn our caps lock back off to turn our pointer back into a regular pointer. And let's make sure we deselect all, click on the pasteboard, and do a control S to save. So now we're going to go ahead and move into making his dinosaur frill. So I'm going to hit my space bar in my hand and scoot over to make this what, what looks like a wagon wheel into his dinosaur frill. So we're going to actually outline some strokes. So a path like any line can show stroke colors, but not a fill color. So if we create a line we want to apply, and we want to apply both a stroke and a fill, we kind of have to outline that stroke. So the first thing we're going to do is to grab our selection tool and to grab this purple path. You might have clicked toward the middle of it in order to grab it. And we're going to go ahead and erase parts of the circle to make it a dinosaur frill. So let's go to object. First we have to make it filled. So object, come down to path, it's about halfway down and come down to outline stroke. So now we have created something a little bit bigger. So now we have a filled shape that's closed path. So we're going to erase parts of that in order to make our frill. So we're going to use our eraser tool. Remember our eraser tool is under our knife at this point. And basically what we're going to do is just cut chunks, little circles out of each of these pie sections, except for these bottom two, in order to make our frill. So let's go ahead and start where we want to start. I'm going to cut little sections out. Wow, that's awful. Let's undo. Start again. And he's a dinosaur. He doesn't have to be perfect. I say as I cut it way crooked. 
Whoa. I got a little nuts. All right, erase. 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 Clearly, I'm not very good at this, and that's okay. Whoa. All right, so we're going to go ahead and erase that so we've made our scallop. So now we're going to go ahead and now we need to erase these actual sections down here. So let's go ahead and come in here with our eraser. I'm just going to scrub up and down to get rid of. Oop, undo. Got too much. You have to let go of your eraser once in a while, otherwise, when you undo, you won't be able to do it. All right, I now have some amazingly funky dinosaur frill, and that's totally fine. So next thing we're going to do is to save that, control S. And now we want to learn how to erase in a straight line. So let's go ahead and deselect, click on our artboard, deselect, and let's go ahead and cruise over to our face. And we're going to actually cut part of his nose off in a straight line. So let's grab our selection tool. We're going to grab that kind of teardrop egg shape. Let's go ahead and zoom in a couple times. Control plus. Now we're going to go ahead and double click our eraser tool. And it's going to give us some properties. Move that out of the way so you can kind of see what's going on. And with our eraser tool, let's go ahead and change it to 20 points if it's not there already. And say OK. And now I need to cut a straight line across. So in order to do that, or erase a straight line across, I'm going to hold shift and drag straight across to do a straight line. So I'm going to hold my shift, drag straight across, and then let go. Now because I only had one item selected, I only erased the nose. If you didn't have that, you would have just taken out part of his face, which you probably don't want to do. All right, let's go ahead and do a control S and save. And now let's assemble this dinosaur. So let's do a control, uh, view fit in window. And let's grab our selection tool and start moving things around. So I'm going to go ahead and select my nose piece. My nose piece, his beak, is going to go um, down here on the bottom, kind of by his teeth things. So I'm going to let go of that there. I'm going to grab this green part. And this green part is going to go right next to his horns. You can kind of see how the horns kind of sit on top of there. And let go of that. And now I'm going to grab my frill with my selection tool and bring it over. And now I've got that element as well. And I'm going to select out, do a control S and save. And now I have completed one dinosaur. So we will pick up with the second dinosaur in the next video.